Hello adventurers and welcome back to Skyrim. We are here uh, at Winstad Manor, my home, and we've got a new cow, which is exciting news. Uh, Valdemar's also out there, and let's uh, let's go get him. Honor to you, my dame. Come on, Valdemar. Let's all. Excellent. Lead on, Thane. Let's all go in and relax a bit while I do a little inventory management, shall we? I got a lot of stuff. Where's Mercurio? I don't know where he went. There you are. Alright. So, make yourselves at home, guys. We're here in Winstad Manor. With uh, <laughs> our little entourage there. Very good, very good. Uh, Alright, let's do some... Um... Oh, it's nice to be here. Let's put away some stuff, shall we? Um... Mostly I just want to put away the heavy stuff right now. I'll worry about the alchemy stuff as we sort of go along. I'm planning on spending some time here. Uh, maybe for the next few days. Uh, I don't want to scare you guys, but maybe even a week or two here. Because um, I do want to put in a lot of work to the house and also to my inventory management and maybe even if I can make enough chests I have a lot of iron and I have a lot of wood so if I can make enough chests around the house and stuff maybe even start sorting my stuff around the house which will take a little while but you know it's all part of living the uh, the homey life here so let's start putting some of this stuff away shall we just the heavy stuff so I can start working on the house without having to worry about it too much for now, uh, iron gauntlets. Yeah, I'll worry about melting down that stuff later. Open dagger. Yeah. Secret wakizashi. Steel dagger. All this stuff I'm gonna melt down later eventually. But for now, I'm just gonna put it away. Relax for a bit. Let the bell and keep behind husk. Getting pretty light already, which is nice. Um, let's see here, animal bones, need to sell those, um, look at that gold, not bad, alright, I think that's good for now, I'm feeling good about that, um, feeling a lot lighter, which is nice. Uh, anyway, let's relax for a bit, guys. Come on. And, um, I actually, uh, I got that letter from Farrick. So, uh, <laughs> I'm excited to see what he has to say. Uh, I'd like to share it with you guys, even. Maybe he's got some uh, leads on to who's trying to kill me, you know? So, um, let's have a look-see at the letter, shall we? Dear Master Tristane, you stupid, selfish, careless fool. Oh, I saw that coming. Do you have any idea how worried I've been? You've pulled a lot of stupid stunts in the past, but this tops them all. You should have been to Cyrodiil and back by now. I truly thought you'd been killed. Next time you decide to throw away your responsibilities and become some sort of vagabond with delusions of grandeur, have the common courtesy to write me a letter first. It was hard enough losing your parents. I don't plan to outlive you as well. Well... I knew he was going to scold me. <laughs> anyway, let's see what he has to say. Well, needless to say, my heart leaped from my chest when I received your letter. It is good to hear you're alright. I expect that you no doubt know that the great noble, Andestair, has already hired another aspiring young Breton looking to prove himself to deliver the artifact. Something tells me, however, that you have no more interest in North Point's nobility. Can't say I blame you. It has become such a pompous and corrupt society. Maybe it always was, but now I'm rambling like an old man, <laughs> as Master Marcel used to say. Everyone here in North Point and all of High Rock is still in shock after the news reached us that dragons began appearing in Skyrim. Please, do be careful. I can hardly believe the Dark Brotherhood is after you. I was sure that it was some sort of mistake when I read your letter and the attached contracts you found from the Dark Brotherhood. Out of the three, two of them are identical. 
I could gather no information from those. It would seem they are directly from someone in Skyrim, but I'm afraid I can't help much. The third is terribly interesting. Hmm. It mentioned a contact in High Rock. Since you've never really been out of North Point, I thought it a good place to start. As you are well aware, your family has had connections in the court for generations, as do all families. So I told them to investigate the other families for Dark Brotherhood ties, and it turns out that one of them had a Dark Brotherhood contract planned out here in North Point about six months ago. As you can no doubt guess, it was the family led by Mimestion. He loathed Master Marceau and wanted him out of the picture. Since he and your father were very much polar opposites, they were constantly at odds. And since your father had more influence in the court due to his great character and superior lineage, Mabestian detested him. Mabestian became more and more hostile in the last few years before your father's death and openly spoke against him in the court. He apparently opened up a contract with the Dark Brotherhood to have your father assassinated, but soon after, Master Marcel became ill. Once he passed away, they had only you to deal with. They knew you took after your father and would become a nuisance to their influence. Since it would undoubtedly be too scandalous to have you assassinated right after your father's death, they must have discarded the idea to hire the Dark Brotherhood. We have uncovered evidence that, instead, they hired spies to follow you around. Since you were never as public as Master Marcel, it became difficult for them to get any information on you. According to the record we've uncovered, they only had one potential lead. A young woman whom you visited every day in the market district. Though her name is not mentioned, she is said to have been a flower vendor. She was kidnapped and interrogated, but they seem to have learned nothing from her. According to the record, she was then executed? No, that... that can't be right. How... Those bastards. Master Tristan, I imagine this must be quite devastating news. Truly, I wish I could be there with you now. After you went on your journey, Mabestian knew his influence would be limited and practically useless in Skyrim and Cyrodiil. So he was forced to once again use the Dark Brotherhood. This time, in an attempt to better cover his tracks, he hired a group of thugs from Eastern High Rock, who were then sent to Skyrim to hire the Dark Brotherhood there. Clever, I must say but not clever enough to evade the endless waves of treacherous records and evidence hidden in the courts of High Rock. Once again, nobility is highly overrated, Master Tristane. The last known whereabout of these thugs is... Robber's Cove? Uh, can't be! Though I'm not sure they'll still be there when you get this letter. It may be good to start looking for leads there. I don't believe this. Robber's Cove. Those bastards. I'll keep searching for information. In the meantime, do take care of yourself, Master Tristane. I hope your stubbornness has not been weakened by distractions such as the civil war going on in Skyrim. It is that same stubbornness which I'm sure has kept you alive this long. To think that young Master Tristane not only learned combat techniques, but is now finally studying how to control his magicka. I'm very proud of you, and your parents would be as well. Varric. I don't believe this. I, I can't believe this. That bastard. Varric said that... Last he heard, they were over at Robber's Cove. I wonder if they've been there the whole time. No, that can't be it. They must have just gotten there. That must have been the, the bandit group we saw there now. Just a... Just a little while ago. We have to go back. Valdemar? What do you need, Thane? You're coming with me. Lydia? You too. Mercurio, Eric. I don't think you're ready for this. You're gonna stay you here and watch smiling, the house. Don't make me wait too long. I get bored very easily. 
It just feels right somehow. I'll be right here. Be careful now. Stay here. If you absolutely need to go back, that's fine, but I need to do this. Those bastards. I don't know how long they'll be at Robber's Cove. I just assaulted them. If they're smart, they'll be moving out soon. I have to make it within the day. But it looks like there's a storm coming. Alright. Let's make haste. Ellie? I want you to run like you've never ran before. Let's go! We have to make it there. As soon as possible. If we can make it before dawn, I think we'll make it before they leave. Those bastards have been hiring the Dark Brotherhood to kill me. No wonder that mage was there. I knew those bandits were stronger than I'm usually than the usual rubble that uh, rabble that I face there. Damn it! Can't believe it. I knew something was wrong. Oh, I need to clear my head. I think I'm not going the right way. I don't want to get lost out here either. There's Morthal. Come on! Faster! We have to make it there soon. The sun's already setting. We'll travel all night. We have to make it before dawn. Can't believe this. She's dead. I can't believe they killed her. My best in you bastard. You son of a bitch! I hope the Daedra eat you alive. I may not be able to get you from here. But with the Nine as my witnesses, those bandits are gonna get a beating like they've never gotten before. I'm gonna scour through Robber's Cove up and down until every last bandit is drained of their freaking blood. I'm a bestion. You better watch yourself. I'm gonna use all my resources in High Rock. And I'll tell Farrick to use every bit of wealth we have to put you down. But we're not gonna kill you now. That's too simple for what you've done. We're gonna take away your power. Your status. Your influence. That's what's gonna hurt you the most, isn't it? Power hungry bastard. How could he do this? She wasn't even involved. She knew nothing. I knew nothing back then. Leave us. We have more important matters. Faster, Alley. We must make it before dawn. We'll travel all night. I can't believe it. I just, I can't believe it. She's really gone. I think part of me knew, but I just didn't want to believe it. No. I won't forget her. She changed me. She changed who I am. I won't forget her. These bandits are gonna pay. And they will not be putting any more contracts for the Dark Brotherhood on me. I don't know who else in Skyrim might want me dead enough that they'd, gather, that they'd hire the Dark Brotherhood, but... Better to have one contract than two. <laughs> Good job, Allie. You really did run fast, didn't you, girl? You made it here before nightfall. There's no way they fled now. Then all all hell will break loose upon them. And they will see oblivion. 
like they never dreamed. The visions of the Daedra will be vivid in their eyes as I slaughter them all. Come now. Come out, you cowards! I know you're there! Face me! I know you're working for Mabestian. Ah, there you are. Ha! You freaking coward. You won't get away though. No, I want you to feel. I want you to feel fear like you've never felt. I want you to see oblivion in your in your future. <laughs> yes. And I will not let you rest, no. Not for what you bastards have done. Not for what you're not for what Mabestian has done, you will not rest. I will raise you. Come out, coward! I know you're here! <laughs> well then, shall we fight? Ha! You are nothing but a pushover. Do you know what fear is? Well, do you? That's right. Cower before us! Cower before what you've done! I want you to taste oblivion. I want you to taste the blades of oblivion. Only then will you know the pain I've gone through. You bastard. So, Pray to Stendar, while you Stendar, he will not heed your call. I cannot best you. Uh, yeah. Come, Pray coward! You. Ah. Get him! Where's the rest of them? And you get out of here. Else I take your life too. No. No, you will not rest either. I'm not through with you. I want you to suffer. What? No! If you will not raise, then rot in oblivion! Where's the rest of them? Come then. I know there's more. Those bastards. Where are they? <sighs> Damn you all! There. I know they're here. Where are they? Well? Show yourselves, cowards! <sighs> what? No. That can't be all of them. I'm not done with them yet. No. Those bastards. I'm not done with them yet. I can't be all of them. <sighs> Those bastards. How could they? How could they kill her? You're not done, though. No, you're not. I'm gonna torture you. 
That's right, flee for me. Don't look at me like that. You guys don't know the hell I've gone through to find out what happened to her. And now this? She's dead? And that bastard hired these buffoons to kill me? I just, I'm not done with them. I'm not. It's just not fair. I will torture you. Every day, I'll keep you around to remind that bastard not to mess with me. Don't look at me like that. You don't know. Unfair. I want her back. It's not fair. <sighs> Gods. Hakatosh, Stendar, <coughs> Debella, Mara, <sighs> Talos. What have I done? What am I becoming? It's just... It hurts. But I know that this isn't what she would want. This senseless revenge. <sighs> You're right. I can't do this. Not after all I've done to help people here in Skyrim. And all the strength that I've gotten. To be this weak, it's just not right. Very well then. Go then, and join your brothers in oblivion. I'll never forgive him what Freud he did. But I can't let this anger consume me. Lest I become one of them. <laughs> I just can't believe she's gone. Not like this. Killed simply because she knew me? And the bastard has the nerve to hire the Dark Brotherhood here in Skyrim to try to kill me? Oh, gods. I don't know what to do with myself. I never thought I'd... I never thought I'd feel so lost. I feel as if everything's just falling apart now. Everything I thought I had gained here in Skyrim. My skills, my... My courage. It may not seem like it to you guys, my seasoned warriors, but... The things I'm doing now, I never would have thought of doing back home. Fighting bandits? Dragons? But I just... I just don't know if I can keep doing it. Not after finding out what happened. Not after knowing that I could endanger more people that I care about. Simply because of who I am. What can I do? Tell me. What can I do? Tell me! <sighs> it's the 
This is the coldest I've ever been in Skyrim. I wish... I wish I could see her again. Tell her I'm sorry. I'll never forget her. Not ever. <sighs> Listen guys, I... I just don't think I can continue. I think I'm going back to High Rock. This is just too much for me to bear. You guys should head home too. Valdemar? Thanks for all you've done. Lydia? You've been a loyal companion for a long time. I don't know how to say this, but this is goodbye, Lydia. Still here. I'll head back home if you need me. Goodbye. Valdemar? You head back to Morthal too. Don't go back to Winstead. What do you need, Thane? I'll return to Winstead Manor and remain on guard, my fame. No. Don't go back to Winstead Manor. Go to Morthal. There's nothing for us there anymore. I'm not going back to Winstead, you hear me? I'm not! This is it. I just... I can't stay here any longer. It's just too painful. Knowing that I could endanger other people. Like Silja. And other friends I've made along the way. It just seems so unfair. She was innocent. She... She never hurt anybody. She was the most cheerful and honest and beautiful woman. And I just can't believe she's gone. Not like this. Not... Not like this. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. <sighs> well... I better make preparations to go back to High Rock. I'll write a letter to Farrakh in the morning. Let him know I'll be back at North Point in a few weeks. Let's go. Goodbye, my friend. Thanks for all your help. Oh. Well, I think I'm going to head to Morthal. Let the Jarl know what happened. And that I need to return to North Point. Oh. Darn. I think I left some of my writing equipment back at Winstead. I'll need to get it to, uh... Mail the letter for Farrakh. Get some rest, Allie. In the morning we'll go see the Jarl and we'll begin our preparations for the journey back to High Rock. It's gonna be a long journey, girl, but I know you can get me there. You've gotten me everywhere else, haven't you?
You two are still here, huh? Listen, uh... There's been a change of plans. You two should go home. But hey, I wouldn't send you out into hell much at night on your own. Stay the night. In the morning, I'll be heading out. We can all head out together. But it is time for us to part ways. I want to thank you both, though. Makuryu, you were very helpful. Thanks for, uh... The helping Golden Glow Estate. Especially. Eric? I'm sorry we didn't get to adventure more, my friend. Uh, I don't know what to say. I... Kill some dragons for me, alright? I just... I have to head back to High Rock. After what's happened, I just can't stay here. I'm gonna get some sleep. <sighs> I guess this is the end.